Well, hello and welcome, everybody. Welcome to 2021. That's great. It's great to be back. First Pastors Chat 2021. For the year. That's it. I was worried that Pastors Chat wouldn't exist this year because we're getting back to church. It's still coming. Yeah. But guess what this week is? What's this week? We're back to church. I know. In How person exciting. church. Can't wait. Sunday, February 7th. That's it. It's going to be a great back day. In person. Yep. A nice full chapel. Two services. Yep. Not, yep. Preaching, worship, communion. It's going to be so good. Oh, so good. Wait. Preaching to people. I know. Singing with people. So sick of preaching just to each other. Yeah, just each week one person in the room doesn't do it, does oh. it? It just. Just, I don't know, it's just something about having people there, preaching to people. Do you reckon anyone's as excited as us? I don't know. We'll find out, <laughs> won't we? So I hope you are. Yeah. And I hope you're really looking forward to being yep. here from the 7th That's every it. week. That's it. Tell us in the comments what you're most looking forward to coming back to church. What have you most missed? Morning tea. Morning That's tea. Yeah. Morning tea. That's it. That's it. We can't wait. It's yeah. going to look a bit different. It is, isn't it? There's going to be a number of mm. things that we do. We have to do differently because we've got to come under that new phrase, COVID safe. That's right. Yep. The new normal, as they're saying, that's hashtag the slogan yeah. that's been around a lot this year. And much like going to cafes a bit different, going to restaurants is a bit different, coming to church will be a little bit different yeah. this year. So what are some of the things that will be different that's it. coming to church, at least for the next that's few right. months? I've got this picture and if I had to sum up 2020 in a picture, um, particularly the COVID normal, I would yeah. do it with this, mm. a QR code. QR this code. is the picture of 2020 is, mm. as far as wanting to go out and go to places. Now, it's a bit more complicated or simple depending on which way you look at it. It's not just the QR code that's the important bit. It's actually the registration. It's us getting details so we know exactly who's here every single time. That's right. um, we need to know. You're, basically, you're not allowed to come to church if we don't have your name and number and record that you attended the building here just in case there was an outbreak and we have to tell everyone who was here. So you need to register. So every week, there's going to be an email and a text go out with a link in it. Yep. We need you to click that link and you register at that link. It's nice and easy. It's easy. There's a name, phone number, that's all you put yeah. in there. And an email, I think, for the family. But if you put in your name and number, you can register your whole family. Um, if you've got kids, you can just put your number for the kid contact. But um, you just put that in and then you can come to church. You don't even have to scan the QR code if you register before the so Sunday. Who does the QR code? So the QR code are for people that rock up on the Sunday. If you just rock up to the service, you haven't registered, that's when you scan the QR code where if you've registered beforehand, you can just walk in. We'll just tick you off on a list. Our ushers will tick you off as you come in, just so we know that you're there and we can track, because we've still got a limit on how many we can have in the room. Yeah, I think it's 120 yeah. or... Yeah, 122, else. something yeah. like that. So we, um, if you don't register and you rock up beforehand, and we've already got 120 here, we're not going to be able to let you in, unfortunately. So um, mm -hmm. you may be disappointed. So I'd recommend registering. If you don't have get the link yet, um, you'll notice next week, I suppose, but if you don't get the link, then email me. You can see my details in the bio below this. Mm -hmm. um, send me a text and I'll add you to the mailing list so that you can be getting that every week for yeah. our service. So if someone's a little bit unsure of how to register yeah. or how to use those QR codes, mm. will there be people here on the Sunday morning? Yeah, assist? we'll have someone with an iPad in each week so we can manually put you in if your phone doesn't Excellent. read them and all of that. So just come and seek out an usher and yeah. we'll be able to help you there. What else is happening? Well, you've got something these, here. If the QR codes, the QR codes were the image of 2020, this would be the product oh, of the 2020. Smell. Oh. <laughs> yep. Yes, it is important that we sanitize. We've got to make mm. sure that things are clean. Yep. So before each service, uh, we're going to be having volunteers going to be cleaning and things. Mm. But as people arrive, we really want everyone to you know, yep. do the pump, Put do the, the hands, on. and make sure that yep. we are doing all we That's can it. to be sanitized. My friend calls this cuts finder. Oh yeah. yeah I cut my hand during the year at one point and every yeah. time I had to sanitize, Paper I could cut. feel it. Painful. <laughs> but we've got to keep doing it yeah, nice and right. sanitized. So these are at that's right. each of our entrances. Yep. There'll be a couple of these at the front mm. door in the foyer. Yep. And uh, we just encourage everyone to make mm. sure that you do that. And anybody helping that is serving in our church will be using this a lot. So yes. just so you know, when you get things handed to you, like your mainstream, yep. it's because they've been sanitizing yep. and they've got- and those in the kitchen. Of, exactly. The so be, all of our volunteers are going to be told about the yeah. sanitizing.
It's one of the other words of 2020. It depends where you come from. Um, some people call it physical distancing, which I like the term, but in Victoria, it's mostly been social distancing. Yeah. And that's just about space. Yes. Which is part of the reason we got this table, actually. Back off. So we had a bit of a gap. Yeah. Excuse me. But when you're coming into church, when you're seating down, we need you to still observe social distancing. Yep. So we don't want you to just run through the doorways. <laughs> we don't want when the service is finished, everyone just running out. It might mean when the service finished, when the last song plays, just waiting a couple minutes mm -hmm. and then leaving off to the morning tea hall or yeah. out the front. Yeah. Um, people that you're sitting with, obviously you can sit with your friends and like you would if you go into a cafe or something, but don't just sit next to some random people and not socially distance. Yeah. Leave a chair gap. There's going to be a bit of courtesy that's yeah. going to have to come with and that. Particularly if someone's a visitor, we mm. want them to feel safe. That's it. So if people are feeling a little bit intimidated because mm. you know strangers are sitting right up alongside them, mm. we, we need to be aware that now, some people are still a little bit apprehensive, mm, a little bit worried. Definitely. Uh, they may have their own health problems, so yep. they would want to make sure. So particularly, you know, just, mm. just sprace out a little bit, you know, like half an arm's length, an arm's yep. length. Because we don't want to go around and have to, on all these chairs, yeah. we don't want to be putting crosses or mm. move the chairs away. So we just want to really mm. trust the people. To, That's it. Uh, and we didn't want to spread out a little bit. And we didn't want to just put chairs with the 1.5 gap in because it just doesn't look oh, right and it doesn't it fit. Messy when we and tried it, we actually yeah. can't do aisles that way either. That's so right. it'd be really nice if you guys just continue to observe that, which we know you will. Yeah, thanks yeah. for that. Yeah. What about communion? Now, this is the big one. Ah, and we yeah, should mention, like while you mention this, I should also mention offering. One of the biggest rules is we're not allowed to pass things down the aisle. Yeah, so, so no offering no, bags, yep. no communion yeah. trays. So we hope you continue to give online if you've been doing that, but we will have offering at the doors, um, yep. on sort of towards the exits. So if you've got your offering, you just drop it in there. Yep. So no passing down. And when you come in, you're yep. gonna get one of these bad boys. Yeah, everyone will be handed a, what they call a single serve communion emblems that's right and uh, we have those little cups and there's a couple of seals on the top you remove yeah, right. the uh two the, seals the, is the, the thing to note there can be a little tricky so take a little bit of time yeah. it's a noisy isn't take it? it away we've got our bread i don't know if i'd call it bread maybe foam yeah, it's not but the tastiest it's thing it's still but it's an emblem that reminds us of jesus body and then the second layer yep. which we need to make sure and this is important we've got to do yep. it very carefully so just pull it back and then you can uh, drink the juice. There you go. So it's a yeah, so. pretty good way to do it. Mm. Doesn't make a loud crunch, I suppose. It's nice with the little cross on there though. Yeah. And, mm. and it's a, it's actually a pretty good tasting juice. I don't mind the juice. Yes, I think it's actually black mm. currant juice yeah. from what the uh, was that Quite like it, yeah. So it's a little different. It's not quite what we're used to, mm. but uh, we've got to make sure that we're doing it again safely. That's right. Uh, do all this with integrity. Mm. So these will be so yeah. handed out in the foyer That's as you right. enter into the service, just hold it with you. Mm. When the uh, communion time That's is given, right. you take the emblems yep. in your own time and then just hold on to these. Mm. And at the end of the service, again, yep. out in the foyer towards the exits, there'll be yeah. some rubbish bins to yep. place them. And we the do last. hope yeah, you put them in the rubbish bins um, because we have to clean up, but we'll get to that in a minute. What about leaving when it's time the service finishes? What's yeah, that look now, like? Our foyer is a good size, it but is. again, because we've got to practice this social distancing, each room within our church mm. uh, has a capacity. Mm. And the foyer, and what was it, about 30? 34, I think. 34 yeah. people. So yep. that means that between services, mm. with so the nine o'clock congregation leaving, yep. 10 30 congregation arriving, mm. we can't be having. It's, large it, groups it, congregating mm, and having conversations that's in the right. foyer. We're going to have to be very diligent yeah. with that. So there'll be instructions given yeah. each week and we just ask mm. that you listen to those instructions, that's follow right. those instructions that are given that's right. so that we can get a nice even flow mm. out, a nice that's even it. flow in, that we don't stand in the foyer mm. and talk. Now perhaps go outside. Yeah, go out the front. Move into the hall into the for hall. the cuppa, that kind yep. of thing. And you may have to keep an eye, we may have to ask you to exit via the hall door when this, depending yep. on how long you stay for morning tea. Yeah. 
things like that because we actually have to close off the chapel after the nine o'clock service yes. just for a moment so we can sanitize and we yep. can make sure it's ready for the 10.30 to avoid again cross-contaminating and cross the sanitizing rules we have now to run a service. Uh, um, extensive I suppose you could say. Mm. So we do need you to, even though we need you to wait to leave, we also need you to leave promptly kind of at the same time. But we're going to give you a good 15 minutes for that. Yep. We're not just going to be like, yeah follow these unrealistic rules but just keep that in mind as well but we'll have reminders on the screen yep. yeah but we want to make mm. sure that all that we're doing we're yeah. doing it properly mm. we are following the rules mm. uh, with you know, real integrity because that's an important witness that's to it. our community oh, imagine if uh, the church cops are fine mm. because we're breaking the rules yep. what kind of witness that would be exactly to our community so the last thing i'd want to sure read is an editorial section in the daily about yeah. someone that attended a not COVID safe place on the weekend. That's right. That's, That's right. it. So and what, it's going to be different. Mm, it's going to be difficult. That's it. Maybe in some things, we're not going to particularly like that no. much. But the more that we do it right now, yep. the quicker we will be back to. That's right. And there's hopefully, there's, ho the hopefully these rules will disappear slowly over time as we become closer to um, eliminating COVID in the world, which we want to keep mm. praying for. Yeah. And, service will still be streamed there will still be yeah. video so you can watch it and particularly if you're ever sick if you've got a sniffle if you think yeah. you've got a cold don't come to church yeah, do please the right thing. yeah and you can watch it at home live so you're not missing out on too much you'll just maybe that week where you've got to get better yep. get better and then you can come maybe back the week next week you live mm. at nine o'clock every yep. sunday morning it'll be online through yep. youtube so you can, just exactly so you can continue to watch and if you want to watch our sermon twice now and come watch it live and go yeah. home and listen to it again yeah. that'd be great won't it be brilliant. but thanks for joining us for another pastor's yeah. chat I hope we'll see you on sunday that's right whether it's here in person or online yep. or the next couple of weeks afterwards can't wait yeah, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be fantastic see you then yeah all right